Nelson Mandela's biography. Nelson Mandela was a civil rights leader in South Africa who fought against apartheid. He was also the first black president of his country. Nelson Mandela was born on 18th of July 1918 in South Africa. His real name wasn't Nelson, but Rolilala, which means troublemaker, He's in his native language. He got the name Nelson on his first day of school, but many South Africans always referred to him by his clan name, Madiba, to show respect and affection. Although he was originally from an important family line, he was the first member of his family to go to school. Mandela was a good student, and he was also good at boxing and running. He moved to Johannesburg to study law. There, he met Oliver Tambo, who became a great friend and later a colleague. In 1948, the South African government introduced apartheid. Mandela joined the African National Congress, ANC, because he believed that black South Africans should have the same civil rights as white people. Soon, he became the leader of the party. Mandela and Tambo started giving free or low-cost legal advice to many blacks who did not have any legal representation. They also began campaigning against apartheid. Apartheid was a system of legal racial segregation in South Africa. It began in colonial times, but it was not introduced officially until 1948. According to this law, inhabitants were classified according to their racial group. This made residential areas, education, medical care and other public services different for whites and blacks. Black people were very poor and did not have South African citizenship. Nelson Mandela, just like Martin Luther King in the USA, was influenced by Gandhi's nonviolent resistance and his party and its activists adopted non-violent protests against racial segregation. However, there was a lot of violence against black people and during a peaceful protest in 1960, almost 70 people were killed. The government blamed the ANC and banned it, but this didn't stop Mandela. In 1962, Nelson Mandela was arrested together with other ANC leaders. He was imprisoned because he refused to stop his activity. In 1964, he was sentenced to life imprisonment. He stayed in prison for 27 years. He could receive one visitor and one letter every six months. And, it, and he did hard labor and was often alone in his cell. He communicated with other prisoners by writing messages on toilet paper. Mandela became the most famous prisoner in the world, and more and more people supported the Free Nelson Mandela movement. There was a widespread boycott of South African products, and entertainers and sports teams refused to go there, hoping this would persuade the government to abolish apartheid. In 1990, President Frederick Willem de Klerk announced his release. In the following years, the ANC and the Clark started discussions about a new multiracial democracy in South Africa. And in 1993, both Mandela and the Clark were awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. The following year, Nelson Mandela was elected president in the first democratic elections in South Africa, in which all races were allowed to vote. Mandela was president until 1999. He died in 2013 at the age of 95. You can read about his fight against apartheid in his book Long Walk to Freedom.